643, your self-driving cars. This sounds pretty cool, right? But many wonder, are they really going to happen? Will they be safe? How much longer do we have to wait for these things to be on Texas Road? Traffic expert Anna Vid Reyes talked to the expert to see where we stand when it comes to automated vehicle technology. Anna Vid. Good morning, Owen Elisa. Self-driving cars are the future of transportation. Just imagine, no longer will companies have to hire drivers to make 20-plus hour trips to deliver goods across the nation. A self-driving semi could do that. But as automated vehicle technology research and testing continues, experts realize bringing this innovation to life may take longer than expected. Five years ago, experts thought this technology would be available a lot sooner. We could get into our vehicles, we could watch Netflix on the way to work, do, uh, read a book, you know, do whatever we, we need to. The reality, experts understood getting this done was more difficult than expected. But we also drive by intuition and inference. So you watch the vehicles next to you. You understand that that vehicle's weave, we're weaving a little bit. It's swerving over into my lane. I better be more prepared. The problem, designing technology to recreate human thinking on a computer chip. A typical airliner uh, these days contains 80 to 100 million lines of code. And remember, any airliner can take off and land by itself at virtually any airport in the world. A typical uh, car currently, one that is going into autonomous um, operations, is 300 million lines of code. Our minds can make hundreds of thousands of choices in all kinds of situations in a split second. A computer chip is not as instinctual. We can take the rules of the road, the algorithms, and we can program all of those into a chip. Uh, and maybe that's 90 or 95 percent of the driving task. But that last five or 10 percent, the intuition, it's really hard to recreate the human brain, the human intuition. Texas is a leader in testing this technology. There was legislation passed uh, in 2017 that allowed for uh, these types of trials and vehicles to, to um, travel on our roadways. And there are many companies right now that are taking advantage of that. Including Google, Uber, and Lyft. Texas A&M, also a player in AV testing. We've tested a low-speed autonomous shuttle as a uh, potential passenger transport for internal to the campus. Bottom line, a completely self-driving car or level 5 autonomous vehicle won't be available for the average driver until another 30 to 50 years. A lot more testing has to be done before you can sit back and watch an hour of Tiger King on your way to work. AV technology is being tested in several Texas cities, including Dallas, Austin, El Paso, and San Antonio. Owen? Yeah, AV, thanks. Very interesting.